What's going on everybody? Today I am here to give you a tutorial on how to make a DIY fret wrap. So some of the things that we're going to need for this, we're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your fabric. We are going to need some super glue to actually glue everything together. We will need a Velcro strap. Uh, in this case, I'm using the one that the Shure SM58, SM57 come with. It's a microphone cable wrap. Uh, it has to be the length that will be able to wrap around your guitar and also contain some fabric, and I found this one to be perfect for my 7-string. Uh, you don't have to use this, you can use a different kind, but I just find that's what's useful for me. And the last thing that we're going to need is some fabric, and in this case, I'm just going to use a sock that I have. So first thing that you want to do is actually lay out your Velcro strap that you have. We're going to do this just so we can make sure that the fabric that we have is the correct width. Uh, in this case, the sock that I have is the perfect width for it. You might have to do a little bit more modification, but luckily for me, it lines up perfectly. Uh, so what we want to do now is actually lay out our fabric, grab a pair of scissors, and what you're going to want to do is fold it over two times. Uh, that works for me. You might have to do it more if you have thinner fabric, but in this case, that's going to be the perfect width for me to actually be the part that touches the strings. And then what you want to do is cut your fabric, uh, make sure again that it's the correct width before you do it, uh, measure twice, cut once, and then once we have that going, let's get that fabric out of the way. So what you can see here is the actual fabric itself. Uh, it's a little bit wider than a square and it's the perfect width since it's both sides of the sock. So one thing I would do, and this is optional, but I highly recommend it, is actually cut a piece of test fabric from whatever fabric you're using. Uh, reason being is because for those of you who don't know, super glue actually has an active ingredient that can cause your fabric to actually smoke or even catch fire uh, due to the quick chemical reaction of it drying. So again, cut a little piece of fabric, put some super glue on it. Let's just make sure nothing catches fire. Uh, give it a few seconds. I would say give it like 20 seconds just to make sure it's not smoking or anything. And once you have tested that and you're good to go, uh, get that fabric out of here. So now I'm going to break out my super glue. I recommend you use a gel super glue just because it's a bit easier to work with and it won't bleed through the fabric. And what we're going to do is apply glue to about one third of the fabric. And we're talking width ways. So what we're going to do with that now is we're going to fold it over one third. And we're going to apply a generous amount of pressure to it and give it a few seconds and it should be fully dried. And then we're basically just going to rinse and repeat that process, fold it over another third, and then I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath so it looks pretty. And then what you're going to end up with is the actual piece of fabric that's going to be pressed against your strings. Uh, it's not much different than the Groove Gear ones, honestly, and it's just not even half bad looking either. Uh, so final step, we're going to take our Velcro strap that we have, apply our fabric to the Velcro strap. I would use a generous amount of super glue just because this is the most important piece that's actually connecting to it. And finally, what you want to do is super glue your fabric to the strap. Now, one super important thing here is you have to make sure that you're super gluing it to the correct side of the strap. Uh, in this case, for me, it's going to be on the same side where the soft Velcro is. Uh, it might be different for you depending on how yours actually straps in. But once you've done that, you have the final product, which can be seen here. Um, honestly, I have a Groove Gear one, and this one's a bit easier to put on since you don't have to loop it through that little bit of plastic, and it works just as well. So let's look at what that looks like real quick as far as putting it on the guitar. So here I have my Skurvson Raptor, and all we're going to do is just put the fabric on the strings, wrap it around, and we're done. Uh, it doesn't look half bad. It's better than some of the ones I've seen floating around YouTube. And like I said, I built one of these maybe like three years ago and it has no issues at all. It's not coming apart at all. And, uh, you know, I probably grab it more than I do my actual commercial ones. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time.